Hey guys, it's David from Runner for Less. In this video, I'll show you how I built this barnwood door. To start, the lumber I used was two 1x2x8 and two 1x5x8 select pine. I measured and cut the lumber to the length I want my door to be. I recommend cutting 3 inches longer than your opening. In this step, I'm going to glue the 1x2 on the edge of the 1x5. Make sure to place some weights on it so it sticks properly. The lumber I have here is a 1x10x8. This will be used for the inner section of the door. Make sure to cut these all at the same length. As you can see, I don't have a big enough workbench, so I had to get creative. You can also use the floor. I'm gluing the 1x10s between both pieces. Always add weight or use clamps when gluing pieces together. After I let the glue dry for a few hours, I flip the door over and add screws through the back. Make sure the screws you use are just the right size so they don't go through the door. I am now using wood filler to fill in the gaps and cracks. You can decide to leave the step out if you want to give the door more of a rustic look. Once the wood filler dries, I sand the door. Before I stain the door, I am adding wood conditioner which helps prepare the wood for staining. I am using special walnut for our stain color. I finally add a coating of polyurethane for added protection. Now that the door is complete, I'm measuring where I will hang the door track. I'm marking a straight line while making sure it's leveled. In this step, I'm drilling pilot holes before attaching the track.
At this stage, I'll hook up the hardware to the door. This is the final product. I decided not to attach a handle because I like the clean and natural look. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe for more DIY videos. And that's how you reno for less.